I S U P K. Yeah, yeah, it's your boy Golden. Let you know what's up when we rolling up, man. Hey, man, real quick, man, handsome, check it out. You got to tune in, man. The brother Tazariak is doing some mean things. Big shout out to I S U P K, man. Mean, man, you got to get that work. You got to go to the platform and get that work. You're giving it up, you hear me? Meaning they gon' how we 
how we clean up their, their mansions and their plantations and all that to care of their kids, they're going to do the, your race is going to do the same thing for our children. In there, you and your race. Read on. They shall bow down to thee. Now, since you are sorry, the Bible says you're supposed to bow down for what your people did. That's what the Bible says. If you're really sorry. Okay. Yeah, are, are you sorry? No, the Bible says, let thy yay be yay and thy nay be nay. Are you sorry? Yes or no? Are you sorry? So you are sorry. Am I, am I correct? Read it again. They shall bow down to thee with their face toward the earth. This is what a person that's sorry is going to do before the people that they oppress. They're going to bow down with their faces to the earth. Are you willing to do that? I'm not going to discipline you. You know what? Then you're not sorry. Then you're not sorry. You understand? And you don't believe in the Bible. And you know what? That ends our conversation. Okay? That ends our conversation. You understand? That's why we say the white man took up. Sorry, and you reneged on it. You lied. You understand? Any more on that, brother? Go ahead. And there is a friend who, being turned to enmity and strife, will discover thy reproach. See that? What does that mean, discover thy reproach? Meaning the white man, he's a friend at his own occasion. All these politicians going, they don't, they're only coming together when they want you to vote. Yep, yep. That's the only time they come yep, there. Yep. I don't see no I didn't see Miriam Bowser in Southeast yep. before she wanted to get elected. Yep. I didn't see these none of these Negro and these these devil politicians yep. that that's in the white man's pocket. Yep. I didn't see them in the hood until they wanted your vote. And we trying to tell them our lives matter. They say your life don't matter, but your vote do. Imagine that. That's the white man. Do you understand? Drop that, take me to Psalms 130 and 5. We're going to teach our people. This is a family affair right here. We're going to teach our people, man. We're done. We done. Our, our conversation is over. I told you what, you what you could do if you were sorry. The Bible said you will bow down before the people, the children of the people you oppress. That's what the Bible says. You understand? Go ahead, brother. Give me that. Psalms 130 and 5. Psalms 130, verse 5. Go ahead, brother. Psalms chapter 130 and 5. I wait for the Lord. My soul doth wait. And in his word I do hope. We suppose the hope in the Lord, not this man democracy. Democracy is done with, man. Look at that. Like I said, they just busted the Fairfax Virginia mayor for selling meth. He's smoking the taxpayer's money. He's smoking the taxpayer. Now you put that in your pipe and smoke. The taxpayer money. They're not gonna do him like Mary and Barry. They're not gonna do him like Mary and Barry. They said they're white man. We gonna just we gonna lock him up. We gonna give him some, some some therapy. We gonna give him some treatment. When he's selling to taxpayer, he's using the taxpayer's money to buy meth, crystal meth, in exchange for homosexual orgies. 
he on the he on the website seducing men to buy meth for homosexual or orgies. That's a white man. That's a white politician. So why are we voting in this man's election, man? We shouldn't be doing that. You understand? Go ahead, brother. Any more of that? Drop that. Take me to uh, Matthew chapter 27, verse 17. How many of y'all know that democracy is, got what, is what got Christ killed? Democracy. How many of y'all know that? Democracy is what crucified Christ. Remember, Christ was crucified through a vote. And we're going to show you in the Bible. You understand? We're going to show you what democracy does for our people. Democracy got our king crucified. Okay? You got that, brother? 27 verse 17. Go ahead. Matthew 27 and 17. Therefore, when they were gathered together, Pilate said unto them, Who will ye that I release them? Who will ye that I release unto you? Barabbas or Jesus, which is called Christ. Now, the white man set Barabbas on one side and set Jesus on one side. And he asked our so-called, our, our religious leaders and the people at that time who are our forefathers, he said, who do you want me to release? Barabbas or Christ? So he asked us to cast the vote now. He said, you go, you gonna get to, you gonna get a release, a prisoner release, but you got a vote now. Let's see what happened, go ahead. For he knew, for said choose Barabbas, choose Barabbas, choose Barabbas, don't choose Christ. And he, they persuaded the people, like they're doing today. They persuading us today. They telling us to go out and vote Democrat. I don't see how a black man can be a Democrat right now. I don't, I'm sorry. And I don't see how a Mexican can be a Republican. I don't see how. But they persuaded the people, read on, persuaded the multitude that they should ask Barabbas and destroy Jesus. And why did they want to destroy Jesus? I'm gonna tell you why, brother. They wanted to destroy Jesus, a black man, because he was for the poor. Christ did everything those Negroes didn't do with the money they had. He healed the sick. He raised the dead. He fed the hungry without welfare. He did all these things. You understand, when we was, we was on the bottom and they stirred up the poor. And one thing the rich, rich of us hate, it's for the poor to get stirred up. Because when the poor start to get stirred up, it disrupts the white man's empire. Just like today. That's why they say, why is it all this unrest going on in America? Because there's a spiritual awakening happening. Black people are starting to become more conscious of their condition. More conscious of who they vote for and all these other things. They trying to make becoming more conscious. So they say, man, we don't like being shot in the streets. So they say, black lives matter. No justice, no peace. All these things are what happened when Christ was on the scene, brother. He was letting them know that Christ said this, blessed are the poor, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. That's right. The rich hated Christ. Christ was a revolutionary. Christ didn't love everybody. Why did they crucify him if he loved everybody? Christ was a hardcore brother, man. And he rolled with hardcore brothers. You understand those men we read about Peter, Mark, all those brothers. You, 
Peter was a hardcore brother, man. Peter was so hardcore, when they come to get Christ, Peter cut the ear off of a centurion. That's how bad Peter was with the sword, man. Take all the, get the good side too, devil. Get the good side. Trying to find something to follow Had loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain, and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed, so packed I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit that's hereditary from oppression Felt like my life was on fire trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good shepherd Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale Listen well to what I tell No call it can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well can't you tell I was sent from the Lord? Got a tongue like a two-edged sword.